See, you don't have to buy real estate. Understand this very carefully. It's not a necessity to buy real estate. Why are you buying? So because see, there are some countries like where you buy real estate, you know for a fact that it is going to climb. It's a hundred percent. Okay. Um, for example, in India or Pakistan. But the problem with countries like India and Pakistan is that it doesn't matter if the property prices rise, but because of the currency devaluing situation, it's still more effective to invest in Dubai. Hence, there's a lot of traction from that. I'm going to make a video on what factors are going to impact the market. Why till 2026, Dubai is on a very bullish run. So yes, you have an opportunity to make money, but you don't have to invest. What do I mean by that? See, we are in a very funny situation in Dubai real estate where, see, there is, I feel like it's the, uh, the Pareto principle, you know, 80-20 situation where 80% of the market, there's so much, so many hyped up products. I think 80 is a stretch. Um, but 60%, you know, I, f I find a lot of developers launching products at very hyped up prices, you know, which, which eventually will make sense. But what if the product quality is low? Never, never compromise on product quality and floor plan. Now I'll explain a situation to you. Now let's say JVC, okay? It's in a very, it's in a very funny situation. I'll explain. Now in 2021, I remember, um, I, I remember this really well. Not 2021, sorry, 2022. Because in 12, 12, 22, my son was born. So I was, I was there in the hospital and I was speaking to an investor of mine where uh, Bengati launched a product called Nova. Now, Nova, the prices uh, were around for a one bed, around 650,000 maybe, and the two beds were around 800,000. So this was the price bracket of JVC. Now, I, I'm seeing a trend of uh, warm beds going anywhere from 1.2 to 1.5 million dirhams. So what is the problem? The problem is that there is a 70% of stock in the market, which uh, the price was around 1,000 dirhams per square foot. In fact, lesser than 1,000 dirhams per square foot. And now, in, in 2023, there is stock uh, which is 1,500 dirham per square foot plus. Means it's going towards a 2,000 dirham per mark, which is bam, ridiculous. It, it doesn't make any sense in investing it at 2,000 dirham per square foot in certain areas because well, I wouldn't, why wouldn't I pick up a stock at a lesser price, upgrade and rent it out, you know? So it just doesn't make sense. So, uh, I've come up with a, a plan. So I've, to, I've told my investors, see, we need to identify opportunities. That makes a lot of sense because there are, to today's video, we are going to talk about some of the products in the market that made investors a lot of money and still there is opportunity. So basically, we're going to discuss my favorite secondary off-plan products. Now, I'll give you some examples of some fantastic investments. So there's Urban Oasis by Missoni. Urban Oasis by Missoni. Now, if you look at the pictures of this product, it's beautiful. It's, 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 it's a fantastic product. Most importantly, it has a six-year post handover payment plan and it's handing over this year in December. Phenomenal product. It will, it you will make money out of it. You can rent it out. You will start. It's a, it's a sensible investment. Um, Peninsula by Select. If you can get um, a nice unit at a good price uh, with either Canal View or Burj Khalifa View, even if it's a studio, I think especially in Peninsula One, if you can get a good deal, uh, because. They were selling at close to 770,000 dirhams. I mean, today in JVC, I think studios are selling at, at close to a million dirhams. So 
Business Bay is a better location. Select is a better developer. Peninsula is a better project. Now, uh, if we go towards, um, see, Demac has some products. We can we can have a look at it if if uh, if you get a good deal, like Canal Heights. I think that's also handing over in 2026. So it's, it's not the same. I, I want to talk about uh, products that are being handed over in closer dates. So uh, there's a product. I've been talking about this a lot. And I'm going to show you some numbers of downtown, but Imperial Avenue. So Imperial Avenue, the construction is almost done. You can see now if you do a little bit of due diligence of the power, the impact of Shapurji Palonji in Mumbai, you'll understand the importance of this project. So the investors who did understand the importance of Shapurji Palonji as a developer, as a contractor, they invested and they're going to make big bucks. Prices have already increased. Now, of course, it's reached close to 3,000 dirham per square foot, but uh, it's handing over in April 24. If I compare it to nowadays, um, some of the, oh, sorry, this this urban oasis in Missouri is not 24. It's 23, December, December 23. This is in April 24. So um, if you compare it some of the projects, See, I always, you need to understand the opportunity cost as well. If you wait for three years, is there an advantage? Uh, some of the products even have a post handover payment plan. So this is also an interesting opportunity. St. Regis. Uh, now, if you check the rates of St. Regis, uh, it's close to, I mean, I was just checking the rates today. That was for one bed, it's going 1,732 a night, a night. That translates to what? Close to 40,000 rooms a month, which translates to close to 490,000 rooms a year. I mean, even if I look at a 70% occupancy, which is not the case in downtown, but even conservative, we look at a 70% occupancy, it runs close to 343,000 rooms. Now, if I, if I check the rate of a St. tree, just one bed, it's close to what? 2.5? 3 million. I mean, see, I'm talking about investment sense and investment value. It's downtown Dubai. Why would you invest in monkey areas where there's, where there's nothing happening? Understand at least you need to compare. See, of course, there are some products that are phenomenal. But let me complete this list, okay? So you've understood these. Urban Oasis, Peninsula, Damak, Canal Heights, Imperial Avenue, St. Regis. Now, um, I want you to... Uh, there's some, again, some more products, you know. Uh, Palace, I think we've lost opportunity in Palace. Palace Creek Harbour. Now, Palace Creek Harbour. I went to Vida Creek Harbour the other day. I was in shock. The, the beach looked so good. I was so happy. My investors who, I, so in 2021, I was on my investors' nerves to pick up Palace. And today, I'm so happy. Every single one of them have made a profit of at least a million dirhams. So imagine from 21 to 23, you made an easy profit of around a million dirhams. So now that is called an investment, you know, because it has to make sense. Same case with Sun Arabian Ranches. All my investors made around a million dirhams in profit. So, you know, it makes me happy. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to buy. You have to ha buy when it makes sense. Right. So right now it is a bit of a confusing market. Focus on projects that you know is going to build. So when you see a big developer, Ema, Alda, focus on the government developers. When they are investing into a location, now the government is investing billions into certain locations. So when they invest in that, it's now barren land. When complete infrastructure comes over there, that's when the value of that area increases and that's when we have, that's the location to invest, not in a place where property was selling at, at, at half the price and now just because there is a hype, everyone is buying anything, you shouldn't just go and invest over there, it doesn't make any sense. So uh, Palace Creek Harbour, Live Lux, oh my god, it's a beautiful product. I'm not saying Live is one of the best developers, you know, so uh, we have a few properties in Live by Marina, but the... You know, in Live Dubai Marina, it I have we have achieved close to 17% ROI in Live Dubai Marina. So Live Lux, again, you get really good deals. If you look, 
If you get good deal in Livlux, no doubt, phenomenal investment opportunity. Markasa by DR. Markasa. Um, because why? Markasa is launched at close to 1800 rupees per square foot. DR is, is, is a phenomenal, it's again semi-government, it's owned by Dubai Islamic Bank. The, and most importantly, the layouts were big. The, the studios were close to 500 square foot. The one bed were close to 750 to 800 square foot. A one bed is going close to 1.3 million dirhams. If you can get 1.3 to 1.4 million dirhams, if you can get something around 1.6 to 1.7, a full C view over here at a lower premium, pick that up. Why? Because Oceans is selling at 1.9 to 2 million dirhams. Nautica, Nautica, the, the one by select. The one bed, the size is what, 500 square foot. Now what would you choose? I mean, I will never live in a one bed at 500, 550 square foot, it's a box. Of course people are gonna choose that product. So you know, invest into sensible products that if, <laughs> in Anwa, okay, Anwa in uh, Maritime City, 1.35 to 1.4 million dirhams, you're getting property right now, full cash, pick it up, rent it out. By 26, the area is gonna boom. Now, there are a few factors where Dubai market is going to go boom. I'm going to tell it in my next video. There are three to four very, very sensible factors. One of them, of course, is the casino. I've done so much of research on the casino. Uh, so there'll be one video where we're heading to Ras Al Khaimah, where I'm coming to something over there. Very interesting. So number 10, I have studios in Ras Al Khaimah, okay? Because now, when I see the prices in Rasul Khaimah, they're selling that the prices are Dubai, it's insane. There are two launches coming up. So I'll tell you some of the main, the most important launches. Um, address will be coming in, in Rasul Khaimah. Nikki Beach by Aldar. Again, very important product. Uh, there will be Missoni. This will be... Uh, Again, I, see, I like Missoni, Italian developer, you know, they've got some style, they've, I like the design, so Missoni, so these three phenomenal locations, for what price are we targeting, we're looking at anywhere close to 3,000 rim per square foot, of course this is a complete different business model, if someone is looking for something high end, uh, no doubt, it's an area, I'll make a very detailed video about this, but with, with regards to today's video, we're dealing with the secondary market, I have some products, studios, 500,000 rooms. One beds. 750,000 rooms. Two beds. Okay, students in one beds, full sea view at this price. It's, it's, it's insane because right now studios over there are going close to 2 million rooms. Um, and this is ready. Ready. Pillars in Falcon Island. Massive, we're not talking about small ones. Uh, we're looking at something close to 4,500 square foot built up. Massive, massive villas, private beach, close to 7.5 million dirhams ready on a payment plan. Now, these are products, if you invest now, like especially a product like this. Now imagine, I spoke about the numbers of St. Regis where we're making a 10%. A villa on a private beach near a casino, I'll give you the numbers in my next video when I'm driving towards Rasul Kaima. So of course the casino is a very very big factor, you can't... So in the video what you can expect is that we'll understand what happened in Malaysia when Jinteng came with their resort, what happened in Macau, where my investors who were there at the time, how much money they made and what is Dubai planning in Marjana Island. So I'll be a very detailed video later but do you understand what I'm talking? These products, these 10 products that I've discussed, instead of a silly off plan with a silly developer, where you know it's not going to be a good product, it's not going to be a good floor plan, it's not a great location. Most important factor to understand is the supply. Why don't you look at the supply? Don't look at the renderings. The renderings, of course, they're going to make it look like, I don't know, Paris. But don't look at the renderings. Look at this. I've, I saw this villa community. It's being sold like, like chips. 
there are 8,000 villas in that community. How are we going to sell your product? Your value is of course going to drop. I've told about certain communities where, so the reason why I was selling this product in front of the metro station, 98 apartments, G plus 9 building is, is, I think there are two more plots in front of a train station. That is the kind of supply we're looking at. So please understand the supply. Don't fall for the renderings. Understand the flow plan. It should be a good quality product. If not, look at the 10 products that I mentioned. You will not make a loss. Thank you for watching. Mohammed Zaheb. Watch out for the next video. I'm going to give you some of the factors why the next three years up to 2026, Dubai market is a bullish run. These, all these prices are going to change, but still don't make, only make a sensible investment. It's not necessary to buy real estate. You're investing to increase your asset value, not to decrease it. I, I hate it when investors make a loss, you know. I've seen it, I've seen it sometimes. I've told you I love Dubai, you know. So I hate when someone tells me I lost my money in Dubai. I've been touch wood 15 years of my career or a single investor has ever lost money because that's the kind of due diligence it takes to make sure it's irrelevant whether I'm there in their lives or not, you know, like I've always told them that even if I die, it's a hard state, but even if I die, they'll never lose money because it's such a solid investment that will always make them money. So that's the kind of product you should invest in. Thank you for watching. Mohammed Zaheb, experience the experience.